Hello guys again and welcome back to another video. Reolink 5 megapixel Super HD. Check the video right in the corner at the end of this video or down to the description the review and the testing that I made for this camera. But today I'm going to show you the settings, the options that you have if you decided to control this camera from your PC laptop by installing the software from Reolink. Now we need to download from Windows the file. The same goes for the Mac iOS or Android for your smartphone. Open the file and install it to your PC or laptop. And here I am live <laughs> sitting to my office and I can control this camera. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay. And there we've got some settings, display, flip. Okay, what is the flip? Oh, <laughs> okay, nice. Mirroring, you know, mirroring left, right, right, left. Camera name, bottom right, day and time, top center, height, uh, bottom left, top right. You will see the time and the day of the recordings uh, at the video. And the same for the camera name. Watermark, change the watermark on, off, anti flicker, day and night, privacy mask, you can set up a privacy mask in here. All that I have shown you from uh, the app, but why not? We can check in from here how it works. You can choose the area, save, and this area will never be recorded. And you can delete it. Delete all, save. Advance, we can choose the brightness. Contrast. Saturation. Ooh, you can see the colors are more vivid. Three. Sharpen. Exposure, auto, low noise. We can uh, chain range here from 1 to 78. And this mirroring, manual, backlight. Okay. Dynamic range. Off. 3D DNR for the noise reduction. Default, it will go everything at default. Stream, resolution. We can choose here the resolution. May require device restart for changes to be effect. Frame rate from 16 to 30. Max bit rate 1024 to 8192. Default is 4096. Low length, low resolution. Frame rate. Max bit uh, kilo PBS. Okay, and default again. But I would like 30 FPS. It is more easy to control the settings and the option from your PC. And the sensitive alarm, we can go to high, medium, low. Let's leave it here. Add time period. Motion detection zone. Create a zone over the area that you don't want to receive alerts about. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Success. You can erase it. Delete all. Save. Audio and light. Record audio. When disabled, you will not hear sound in uh, live video or playback. Infrared light. See more clearly in the dim light with the ER lights on. Auto stay off. Info about our camera. Surveillance. Record. Override. Pre-motion record. Post-motion record. One minute. And here, motion, non motion. Here you can choose the day and the hour, non, okay. And you can save it, of course. You can schedule which day and hour it can record. Email, email settings, schedule, enable email alerts, motion timer, non, and the same here. 
we can arrange the time and the days and set the email you want. FTP, FTP settings, FTP server. And here you can make this tab for the server. Enable FTP, and again, you can schedule the days and the time. Push, motion, push notification, schedule the push notification and save. Network settings, you have a network status, you can set up. Here you can choose the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect. Advanced, enable UPnP, enable UAT, enable DDNS, NTPP setup, port settings. There is a variety of settings and options that you've got for the network. Storage, SD card, we can see five gigabyte from 60 gigabyte are used. System, user manager, add user, day and time, maintains, autofocus, configuration, firmware update, you can uh, add the firmware update, download the file and uh, make the update, auto reboot time, restore and reboot. Many options, many settings, I like that. Now here we get the snapshot. Capture, yep, reading, uh, record, you can record and uh, and save it to our PC or laptop. Clip, capture, okay, <laughs> nice. Drop video, well, there we are. Ha, I got you, man. And the PTZ, that is the zoom and the focus. Let's see. Well, let's focus on something to the table. Slowly it goes to the table, is zooming, and is out of focus. As I said to my other video, you can check out my other video right in the corner at the end of this video. The focus, I like it so much. Now we are inside, but outside, I'm sure we will have a more clear picture. <laughs> wow. Allow me to mention this. Uh, it is like an old uh, disk drives, floppy drives. And there it is. That is the maximum. Nice. Very nice. And even if I open my smartwatch, I may see my smartwatch. <laughs> Let's do a fast unfocus. Ah, uh, yep, there we are. Okay, let's see, settings. Okay, automatic line update, run and start, but this is the settings for the software. Add device automatically, stretch mode, alarm beep, lock screen password, language auto, download path, save uh, capture image. Okay, system status, record. And there we can uh, see video file direction. We can change that, let's say 20 minutes, every file. Record videos to video recording folder size. We can change that, 5, 10, 20 gigabytes. And low disk space warning at 1024 megabytes, one gigabyte, okay. Local record schedule, we can schedule in here. Nice. Timer, motion, none. Nice, I like it. Turn off. Turn off. We can lock here the screen, add a device, we can add a new device, refresh. And here is the playback. We can play back all the videos that have been stored to our um, PC or laptop in the place where is the software. Well, guys, that was all about the software, how you can control your reeling camera from your PC or laptop. Let's say you've got a store, you've got two, three, four reeling cameras, and you want to control them from your PC. Storage your video at your PC or to your server. That will be more easy to do from your desktop or your laptop. And of course, you can check out when you are outside of your store. 
from your smartphone. You've got many options and definitely they will help you when you are away from your store. And you can check right in the corner and down below to the description of the video that I made for this Reolink camera, the reviewing and the testing. Definitely you will find it very helpful. Reolink has many products and definitely you will find the best for you. And with all that guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like or like my videos, your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.